All right. Hello there. I'm Miranda Meyer. If you don't know me already, and I'm the owner of Miranda's House of Wellness and Fitness. So um, I hope that you are having a great day. <laughs> it's Friday. The weekend's almost here. And uh, hopefully that you had a really good week, too. So um, with my clients, um, we always try to celebrate on Fridays, looking back to see what our wins are, things that we've been working on and focusing on. Um, even if you think that they're small, they're not, um, and celebrate those by doing something physical, physical by jumping up and down, high-fiving yourself, giving your, yourself a pat on the back. Um, it starts to create this, um, this excitement and this um, enjoyment of, um, of your journey and things that you're doing. So, And I know that a lot of us as athletes that we think about things that we need to improve on all the time and, um, and we don't give ourselves enough credit for the things that we are doing well um, and look back to see how far that you've come and where you are now so and then also um, you know think about the challenges that you have and what steps that you can take to kind of overcome them but spend a little bit of time on that but more time on celebrating uh, those wins and I want to let you know too that I have um, this really great resource for you about summer grill recipes. So I have some recipes on appetizers, main dishes, dessert, and also um, sangria too. So if you want that in your inbox, just let me know where to send it. You can private message me that if you want to get in on that. And then also I have an infographic on how you can swap this for that. So something that is a little unhealthier and what you could swap that out for something a little bit better. So, um, so let me know where to send that to or which one you'd like or whether you want both of them. So no worries at all. So um, I get to work with um, female athletes that are um, looking to lose a little bit of weight, really to build their strength and their confidence to help them in their sport and to also to have longevity in their sport. And I absolutely love what I do. And what I find is that most women that I'm working with um, they lack the confidence or they want more confidence in themselves and their abilities and sometimes we have that negative head trash that we are dealing with and you don't even realize it because you're listening to that voice in your head all the time and you, and you don't realize that sometimes um, it adds up and can really affect your progress so ways that you can build your own confidence yourself so just imagine um, this beautiful beautiful piece of clothing and I mean it feels really really nice it's got this beautiful color um, and it just it is so comfortable against your skin and when you look at it really really closely that that garment that piece of clothing is made up of thousands and thousands and thousands of tiny threads so I like to use that as an analogy of that your confidence comes from building that muscle. So doing small things that, that, that increase your confidence in yourself. So that could come in many different forms. So just think about where it is that you want to feel confident. Just by acting confident doesn't, doesn't mean that it's genuine confidence. Um, all right, the way that we carry ourselves and our posture certainly has a lot to do with it, but it also has to do with what we're doing and accomplishing daily. And those small increment tasks or, or challenges lead to our confidence growing in ourselves. Um, so that could be, um, you know, taking a, um, a step in that direction. Say that you are afraid of water. So by sticking your feet in water um, and getting yourself just um, a little bit wet and a little um, acclimated to it, and then the next day you walk in maybe a little bit further into the water, um, and then the next day you get a little bit closer. And so, um, and I know that some people are afraid of swimming out in the open ocean because they're afraid of sharks. So what they do is that they start to, you know, swim out a little bit more to get used to that. Um, and then some have even gone to an area where they do swim with the sharks and, and, and they kind of build that muscle. They do something that's really scary. Um, also, um, there are some that have tackled this head on and have um, done some skydiving and, um, and it builds that muscle that you're confident about something that you felt was really scary and you went out and did it. Um, and then that actually opens up new doors um, and new avenues for you to um, really display your confidence and um, push through other barriers as, 
So having a little bit of internet issues, so hopefully I'm back now and, uh, and this is recording. So tell me what it is that scares you um, and how you can, or maybe you're wondering, what are the next steps? How can I kind of build my confidence in this? How can I get over this? Um, so share with me what you want to do. Um, share with me what your wins are or what your challenges are. I was also going to share, um, I announced a couple of days ago that I am uh, training for the Vermont Super 8. So it's uh, 638 miles on the bike um, through Vermont. And a lot of it is on some um, closed roads, logging roads, single track and um, a little bit of main road, but not very much. And so you're supposed to do this kind of self-supported, self-sufficient. And so that is a bit scary for me because I'm also afraid of the dark. So I am trying to build that muscle by sleeping outside my house <laughs> and then um, moving it a little bit further away so that I, I get a little bit more comfortable with sleeping outside and camping by myself. So, um, yeah, uh, so please follow me and, um, and, and I will share more about what my workouts are. Today, um, I went out on the bike for about a, an hour and 50 minutes in the heat um, just to get myself used to that because you don't know what kind of weather it is. And then I also, um, we have a lot of elevation around here, so I also set boundaries on the lowest gear that I was going to use on my mountain bike around these roads. And so if I was moving forward, I was going to stay in that gear and not go any lower um, just to get my legs a little bit tired because tomorrow we have a long ride um, to do and, um, and I want to do it while I'm fatigued so my body gets used to that fatigue and pushing through anyway. So, um, so follow me on my adventures and I'll share my training with you and uh, please hit like and share this with somebody too or tag somebody that you know that wants to see this um, that might be inspired by it. So I uh, hope that you have a good weekend and I will talk to you soon.